So what's going on guys? Like you see, we're here at the MERS Farm Equipment Open House. I'm with Zach. He's got the Chuck Wagon mobile grilling system. You guys need to check this out. We're going to do a quick video on it. So guys, this is something that Zach here and a couple of his buddies came up with a pretty ingenious idea to take your love for the outdoors, your grilling, your foodies that want to have a system on the go. And I'm going to let Zach talk about what he's kind of come up with. So this is the Chuck Wagon mobile grilling system. This is a product based out of Spencer, Iowa. Um, Simons and Ironworks, Thurston Manufacturing, actually Nebraska all, as well, we have two different plants. Um, this is a full bed of the truck grill and entertainment system. Uh, this entire lid here, if you can kind of see all around, it's going to fold down into my truck by the tap of a button, creates a topper for the truck. Your TV sits back there, your grill sits in there. You've got four coolers that stack in the back, two on each side, two propane tanks in the middle, pretty much anything you would need for a tailgate or for a setup like this to kind of grill anywhere. It takes about two minutes to set up, um, pretty quick and simple. The entire unit can actually come entirely out of the truck too. So it comes out on legs, kind of like an ambulance gurney would roll out. Um, the grill itself is a five burner Somerset grill. We've got this thing loaded with hot dogs right now. Um, five burners, rear burner in the back, rotisserie that runs across here. Uh, pretty much top of the line grill we can throw in here too. <coughs> when it comes to mounting into the truck, uh, if you can kind of point down there down the line, the mount for the truck doesn't take any kind of bolting or anything to the truck. It just locks into place um, right here onto the eye brackets of the truck. That way you're not modifying your truck in any direction. Fits all major Chevy Dodge, Ford, Toyota, whatever. Uh, it fits a standard five and a half foot bed the best, um, but for other sizes of beds we have small extensions and different things um, to make it fit for those beds as well. We can paint them any color, do any kind of custom business logo on them if you're looking to put a business logo on it. Um, and you can see the guy, the guy's been around. I mean, look at here. This is a lot from like a lot of the events yep, you've been to. Yep, I do. I have a little collection of, of where I've been. This product is just over a year old. Yeah. Um, still pretty brand new, but um, we, we've, we've done pretty well in NASCAR and a couple other areas. Um, and you guys have seen a lot of my stuff too on here. You know I'm always at the GIE Expo. He was at the GIE Expo last year, so a lot of you guys might have ran into him if you had a chance to walk around and see everything. Yep. So, so, so far out of the stuff you've done with the uh, business you've started here. What's your favorite thing you've got to do so far? Um, the College World Series. College World Series. The College World Series was 14 days of, I, I wouldn't say, it was great and it was terrible all at the same time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun because you know, you're working. Well, yeah, because I'm working, <laughs> but working is tailgating. But there you go. You know, there's people in that event that come over from all across the country. Yeah. They're, they're here, you know, coming from Oregon, coming from Florida, coming from Texas, and they're here for the same reason, which is baseball. And that was just awesome to me. Heck yeah. So, one of the biggest questions that I get is Does the heat from the grill affect the way the TV works? Um, and I have to say, this is my personal unit, this is one of our own original prototypes, one of the first three. This unit probably has about 100,000 miles on it. It's weird that you'd consider a grill with miles on it, but um, and a couple thousand grilling hours because I've done things like this all the time. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, they say, does the heat from this grill affect the TV? Well, if you can look here, the grill is right at 300 degrees right now. And the and bottom, that's cold. yep, that's this, as cold as it is, is outside. The way it's designed is the heat is directed out the back, out the front, other directions away from the television. It's got good ventilation. Um, yep. So every once in a while, you know, if you're if you're cooking, and you can something, see it in the back with the smoke rolling out the back too, guys. It's going straight out the back. You see the vents right here. Yep. And even right here, it's not really that even hot. So and, and every once in a while, if you're cooking, you know, something super greasy, you got to wipe the TV down. Um, but that's not that big of a deal. You know, you collect dust off the TV anyways. Um, and this is the same TV I had in for those 100,000 miles as well. Right. Um, so it's 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 locked in place. It's 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 secure when you're driving down the road. That's awesome. And completely. Well, I wouldn't say completely because they're, you know, depending on if you're going through a power washer or something. Right. It's, it's completely waterproof. As there well. you go, man. Yeah. So satellite dish for this unit mounts right onto the top. That way, right now, that's how we're getting the NASCAR race. You can you can use that pretty much anywhere. It's called the dish tailgater. Um, your satellite receiver 
sits right here. That's both Dish Network or DirecTV or whatever you want for that. Um, there's buttons actually on the outside of here too. So along along the edges of the of the outside, those are for curtains that wrap around the whole unit. So you can set yourself up as a tent, just out in the open wherever you need to. That way you don't have to carry a tent. Which is um, perfect because for like what we were talking about earlier, a lot of people just love customizing their own stuff. Yep. And this thing is so customizable. You can designate these buttons to lights. Anything yep. you kind of wanted this stuff to be. Yep. So it's it's designed to be the base model with with tailgating ta tailgaters in mind specifically. I would say um, they like to customize their stuff. They like to put their own logos on it, cover their truck, you know, put big speakers on it. So we provided the base model and let people customize it however they want. Or you can let us customize it. We can do the speakers, we can do the lighting, and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, and one of the other big questions I get is, where do I put all my other stuff? Your your chairs, your table, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. Well, if you can kind of look out and about and around here, all not my screen chairs, but my folding chairs and everything were in my truck. Um, I was able to put. I can usually put four on either side, tuck two or three tables up in there. Um, I actually brought bags with me too. Um, and so if you're if you're looking to bring other coolers as well, it comes with a hitch tray. Um, that way you can hold bigger coolers or yeah. you know. Um, if you're if you're wanting to bring your larger size coolers for more food, I get. So uh, where can everybody find you at, man? So with this product right here, uh, it's called the Chuck Wagon Mobile Grilling System. You can go to buychuckwagon.com or chuckwagon.biz. Um, that's where you can find us. Everything else is, is Chuck Wagon MGS. Uh, just how it sounds. That's all. Facebook, Instagram, all social media is Chuck Wagon MGS. There you go, guys. Make sure you check them out. Like I said, uh, he was at the GIE. I didn't get a chance to see it because you know how GIE is for me. Hey guys, it's super crowded talking to a lot of people, but this is a very, very cool idea. It's niche for sure, but it serves its purpose, and it's a very cool idea. So if you guys get a chance, definitely check it for out. For sure.